la la la. No, don't don't stand on it. Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. And in today's video, I'll tell you what, let me just walk you around the studio. It is looking so full at the moment. We have got lots of different techniques going on on the mannequin down here. And for here, a little sneak peek of a video coming up. These are all the hydro dipping that the students have been doing. Some beautiful pieces. Some gorgeous sampling going on. A little bit more down here. And then, yep, we've got more sampling going on over here. And I did a little bit more hydro dipping down there. So, Today, we are going to be doing some paper experiments, let's call it. I mean, as I was explaining in another video, that the paper multiples is something that I've been interested in since the third year of my degree. And I really like textures and paper is a good way of creating textures. I've had a few people say this to me recently and it's also something that suggested to me to have a go at using paper in the hospital. So, which is great. I'm going to be doing some textures and uh, I've already done some, but I'm going to share with you sort of how I go about it. Interestingly, it is also something that I did quite a long time Time ago in my career in my last job of we did a white project and it was quite a long time ago but it was an amazing project for a level students so we set up a white still life everything on the table everything all the ornaments everything we put on there was white and then we did still life drawings from it and then we did some all sorts of different things but I remember I really got into the idea of paper cutting and folding even then. I'm going to do a little project to do with paper. From that we will do a project to do with sampling on calico fabric. So this is lead up to it. These are some samples that have already started doing. So we've got some plaits in there, we've got some rolled up little quills, We've got some curly bits that I just use scissors with to curl the ends of the paper. Just did some little spirals and then pulled those out so that they went 3D. And more quilling, different heights, you can see that. And then some collage into some 3D little curly bits at the bottom. We've got some fans and I did, ah, recently, did this in fabric and I thought oh, we'll have go in paper so it's just making little circles and critting through to the center and then twisting the paper and you get some nice results with those and then I just made some little cones so I'm gonna do an A3 sheet because it's going quite 3D which I knew it would I'm quite into more sculptural stuff I've done it on just an A3 piece of card and then I'll stick them all down and probably just put them in a box so that I don't crush them and obviously not keep them in a sketchbook I'm just gonna carry on doing a couple more to finish this one off and share the process I've cut up some card fit about 16 different patterns on the A3 sheet of cards. I've cut up 16 sheets. I've also done some more. I'm going to use some PVA glue, which I've just got in this little... Oh, I've forgotten what it's called. Anyway, one of those. And Pritt stick glue is also helpful. I'm going to be using that glue spreader. And then I have got some photocopying paper. This is really, really good for using. And you get tons of it, don't you, in the pack. So I am going to start a new one. So I'm just going to get my little card and set this up. As I was doing this one, this little cone one, I thought that it would be really good to do it the opposite way around. When I've done this project before, I don't know if you can see me. Can you see me? <laughs> when we did this project before as an art department, as a team, I gave them some words, describing words. Then you can create different textures. And so I'm not actually doing that right now, but that is also something that you could do with a project as well. I quite like doing that with groups of students. But today I'm going to be doing this way to make the cones like that. 
ramekin dish. That's the one. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name of that before. So I popped a little bit of PVA glue on the side there and I'm just gonna roll that over the top. Leave that to dry and get cracking on the rest. I'm gonna make, let's go with 10 to begin with. And next what I'm going to do is, I've made quite a few there, so my idea was to have them upside down, but there's loads of stuff we could do here. Do you know what, I might have to make loads of cones. Ooh, look at that. Let's try that. On the side. Mmm. Okay, I like this. Have we got enough though? Hmm. Not sure. Not sure about set. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down. Let's go down. Okay, maybe one more. I'm doing a bit of a real-time one here because one or two of you in the past have commented on how you quite like where I'm just coming up with ideas and, and trialling it. Right, I quite like that arrangement. I'll just take a photograph of it to remind myself of the setup and then I'll just put a load of the PVA glue in the background and stick those down. Hello, my friend! Hello, baby! Say hello to everybody. There she is. Oh, look at you. You're such a good girl, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, off she goes. Just going to leave that to dry now. That's the other one. I did not want it to go the same as that one at all. I want these to stand up more. Yay. Let's try a bit of the crit stick instead. So I have got some thicker cartridge paper, which I could also try out. That might help with structure. Okay, so this is going to need a little bit of TLC. It needs to dry it off. That was the other one. So they are slightly different. I wanted this one to stand up a little bit more. I think that's achieved. Okay, for this next one, the rolling tube ones. All I'm doing, that's getting very gluey around here, is just rolling those up. They'll unravel a little bit, but that's okay. A few of these different sizes, put those in half. So I'm gonna make a stash of these. Then, yeah, I just wanna make some smaller ones. The glue, bish, bash, bosh. There we go. Put some quite tall ones in the middle. That's unraveled too much, I think. Let's get that one a bit tighter. Ooh, look at that. Okay, that's it done. I've just put some smaller ones at the side. Chai masala tea. I'm going to do another. My little friend, she's on her little throne. I rules. Yep, okay, let's make a load of those. There. So as I said, the plan is to create some paper ones and then work into doing some little fabric samples off the back of these. And I do think it will work with, I mean, you could do this 
um, with secondary, A-level, GCSE, any age group really. I like the way that one's falling like that. Yep, I'm going to put that one there. paper that the girls did from Didsbury Art Studio class and we all did some printing on prime dot faux leather. All I'm doing on this one is a switch to the Britstick glue and I'm just gluing a little bit of that down and then just having a play at twisting it around so I'm just curling the paper not every one of them is the same either so let's just have to go that way and then that way and one more So that all just needs to dry off now. And I also did this one, which is still drying off as well. It's not very safe. <laughs> I'll show you how I did that in a minute. And then this wacky one, <laughs> which just looks like lots of creased up paper, which practically it is. I might not keep it, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know, I'm gonna see how it looks when it's dried. But I've literally sort of did a strip and then sort of started pinching the paper like so on that side and switched it around. And then scrunched it down. So anyway, I'll get the others. So that's them finished and and yep yeah, all 16 done and yeah I think you probably agree that there is plenty of texture and ideas to be going off developing these from What you doing, Layla? So I hope you've enjoyed this video today and that just gave you maybe an idea to do a project like this, or you know, maybe you might want to go straight into doing some samples like this with fabric. Either way, I am going to carry on and develop this into fabric samples. So take care of yourselves, have a great week. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you shortly. Where are you off to?